<laughs> oh, that's amazing. I love that so much. Dude, I love I love that so much. <laughs> That's amazing. Where on earth did you find that? <coughs> Amazon. Oh my gosh. That's the best. Um, it, it actually it's a full suit. It's a like full I have, suit. <laughs> full oh, suit. I haven't tried it on yet though. <laughs> you have um, to go running around and knocking on kids' door like doors uh, and going, I just wa- I'm gonna walk down to the mailbox. <laughs> oh my gosh. What, the um the funny thing is because you couldn't see it is my expression under the mask is this <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like i'm the grinch <laughs> yeah, you can't see my mouth I'm like, amazing ugh, i got hair in my mouth all over the place but it was like i as i'm doing it i'm like oh i'm an idiot but i can barely <laughs> see like i can barely see myself in the screen so oh my gosh. i didn't have my glasses on oh, so, so you can't i see what's happening either no <laughs> brilliant it was kind of uh, you have balls on your face <laughs> Wow, that's like the rudest <laughs> some, something ev- somebody has ever said to me, ever. Wow, Chris. Like, this is a PG show. <laughs> All of this is... St- get, get the balls out of my face. <laughs> oh. You gotta be gentle with them, though, because they can <laughs> get hurt. the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Never flick the balls. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Okay. Well, it's going to be a silly one. Welcome to the best thing you've watched this week. Probably just this segment bit will hopefully get you in the spirit of Christmas because it's our Christmas thing special it's kind of a special it's going to be shorter the audio yes. and the video is going to be the same because we also deserve a little bit of a break so i hope you appreciate uh what we're doing for you uh right now as i fling balls out this is really annoying actually <laughs> you play conkers <laughs> Many table make your eyes water. You're just hitting yourself in the <laughs> nose all this time. <laughs> Stop hitting me. I'm bullying myself. Okay. Oh, goodness. So uh, it's a shorter show, but we do have some interesting things to talk about. We'll probably just stuff everything in there from our reviews to the things that we want to talk about Christmassy to what's happening next week. Uh, as always, we do do, and I said do do, uh, movie quiz <laughs> quotes, and Chris has been doing them for the last few weeks. So I think he's probably going to do it this week as well. We're going to talk about who won. Uh, and our Patreon is Krampus. It's Krampusy. So I'm excited to talk about that. And particularly, we're going to do an ending explained, I think. We're both going to have our theories as to what we think went on there. So if you want to support us, in the, the the patreon universe then for those that are already supporting us thank you so much for mm-hmm. those that are new thank you so much and if you are here for the first time check out chris's channel he has like fifty one thousand subscribers i'm still catching up uh i, I feel like i'm the I'm, I'm i need to be a real youtuber i'm not quite there <laughs> yet but <laughs> um yeah thank you for your support should we start chris yes Yes. Happy holidays to you all. Um, okay. Never put I your still balls have Grinch in your hair mouth. in my mouth. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Just... <laughs> oh, man. All I right. I swear this uh, is not whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's five o'clock somewhere. Actually, it's closer to five o'clock for you than it is for me. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's very true. All right. Well, hey, um, so last week on the quiz, I will, um, I will give us the answers. And we had... Um, one person, a brand new person on my channel that got two out of the three, one Lily, one Lily Clark. Congratulations. You got two out of the three. That is outstanding. Ruben, you had, you had one that got two out of three also, right? Yeah, Pushpa. I think he he did last week as well, did uh, two. And so he's, he's he's trying, he's going to get there. I believe in you, Pushpa. You're going to get that three, but you got the two out of the three, which is great. Nice. Right on. Well, uh, Nostromo our tried and true has come back and got all three of the correct answers and they are blade runner breaking bad and while you were sleeping 
Breaking Bad was mean. Because <laughs> I was like, movies, 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 movies. And then everybody in the comments is like, oh, that's, that's, uh, no. I was like, yes, it is. Damn it. <laughs> See, I, the thing that I that I love about these and I hate about these all at the same time is that they niggle in the back of my head like I know what that is. <laughs> and then it's just completely gone. So, <clears throat> all right. Um, I have... Um, I have three plus a bonus one Ooh, okay. for this week because I'm it is excited. a special. So, okay. <clears throat> Are we ready? I got to get back a little bit because I might get a little loud for my uh, microphone. Okay. Oh, you're doing a little drum roll there. A ball yeah. roll. <laughs> 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 little girl, don't touch that squirrel's nuts. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that's not the quote. That's not the quote for the quiz. But that's just an extra bonus one there for you because, wow. hey. It's appropriate. Okay. Anyway, all right. All right. <clears throat> Are we ready? I'm, I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay. Yep. I said, brr, it's getting cold in here. There must be some clovers in the atmosphere. Oh, wait, what? Clovers? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I thought I knew what it was. 90s classic movie in, in some of my favorite actresses. Yeah, you're but right, now, I think. Uh, okay, I'm probably right. No, I I'm think probably you're right. right. Cool. I uh, think uh, yeah, right. I like this. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I still <laughs> want to go. Brr. Yeah, well, and there, yeah, there's a, well, yeah. I'm not going to say it because there's a whole opening it, scene. It gave it away. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. <laughs> Number two. <clears throat> I am here to tell the story. And I am here for the food. <laughs> nice. Uh, recent one. Recent one? I know. Seriously? Yeah, no. You I do know, know it. You're, yeah. you're good. You're, it's we gonna just spoke hurt about if it. you don't get this. No, no, I know it. We just spoke about okay. it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Number three. Um, gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. Hmm. That one might have stumped me. Duh. But I haven't I have an idea. Okay. Number four, the bonus round for us. Ooh, bonus. Let's because this is holiday. Okay. Bing. Only one thing in the world could have dragged me away from the soft glow of electric sex gleaming in the window. <laughs> nice. Okay. I have an idea as well, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let us know in the comments. Uh, <laughs> tell us the answers. Hopefully they're not too hard um and then we will in the new year we will give you the shout outs uh to who was correct and that's just distracting and weird <laughs> <laughs> um okay um, it's time for a question yes yes okay what is one christmas film that everybody loves that you don't like Ooh. Oh, that's easy for me, oh, actually. Oh, okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to get a lot of hate for saying this out loud. Well, I'll, I'm I'll sure. get a lot of hate for mine, so don't worry. We're, we're in this together. It's a wonderful life. <gasps> Chris, <laughs> no, I can't be with you on that one. I'm leaving. <laughs> what did you just do? I can't uh, stand the movie. Is it because I think it's, it's very depressing and then you only get the little bit of happiness in like the last 10 minutes? It... Or was it just like too slow? Well, but, a, a whole but thing. see, it's, I mean, it's, it's a Christmas carol, right? Mm. Mm. Sort of. I mean, sort it, of. it's yeah. sort of, it's, it's, it's loosely there. I yeah. just, yeah, it's, I mean, some of it's depressing. I don't get the attraction on there. Now, not from the filmmaking standpoint. I mean, Frank right. Capra did some amazing things within this, but for me, mm, no. And I'm a huge Jimmy Stewart fan too, but no, right. I just, so I, interesting I don't. Interesting that you don't like that one. Yeah, no. no. Okay. Not at all. Nice. How about you? Well, let us know in the comments what you guys uh, are saying. And um, like, do, do you think it's A Wonderful Life is crap? Because uh, I don't. But then again, I've only watched it twice ever, so I don't go back to it. So that's interesting. Um, um, well. Uh, mine is Bad Santa. I don't find it funny at all. Oh, I will totally agree with you there. I don't okay. find that. To that be has a huge cult all. following, and I yeah, just don't get it. I'm just like, what? What is this? This isn't funny at all. I'd, in fact, that depresses me more. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't put me in the Christmas spirit. Yeah. No, not at all. No, no. no. 
Mm-hmm. All right. Well, definitely let us know in the comments. Give us a couple of examples. I'm sure there's a few. I know a few yeah. people I hate Die Hard. They just find it really boring. And like, that's fine to be wrong. But like, everybody's wrong <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> okay. We should probably <laughs> stop upsetting people and uh, yes, get into yes. our best thing we watched this week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I have, um, I have two. Okay. Um, because it's because when we're recording this, it is earlier in the week. It is early in the um, week, yes. But um, which do I want to talk about first? Because I mm. think they're both on your list as well. They are. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Uh, do you want to anyway. talk about Jack Jack Ryan? Yeah, sure. Let's first? do, let's do okay. Jack Ryan. Yeah. Okay. Um, like I'm a fan of the series, so this has been great. No, season two was okay for me. I don't think yeah. I enjoyed season two. I don't two think as it was nearly as good as one. Yeah. No, no. And um season three though, eerily, eerily ripped from the headlines. Um <laughs> where yeah. we have um Russia creating I mean In- we're gonna stay away from suppose it just uh, it just came out. So I yeah, mean, even okay. though you might be you're watching this like less than a week before after it came out anyway Hmm. um russia has developed a weapon and uh then thrust kind of just global unease and unrest Hmm. jack ryan has discovered it but because of circumstances he's now kind of on the run a little bit like mission impossible there and he's trying to solve it from his side we have the cia who they're they're working a whole bunch of different angles you have all of that political machinations that are happening mm. um on in in international areas not only with russia but surrounding countries and then one of the things that made me so happy is james greer wendell pierce's character james greer, greer is very prominent in this one and while he is not doing a ton of action or anything like that his is the verbal sparring and yeah, the power that comes because J- jack in this one doesn't have a lot of um dialogue no no he doesn't but he's krasinski in, in the action role i thought was excellent well in the <laughs> that action in this show was wonderful and some They've of it really it up caught- for season three as well th- they did and i loved how they would go from action piece to letting our guard down to then like boom more action and you're like whoa whoa okay i'm excited that and it's i mean these were big action pieces also like chase scenes that mm. went on for a while and yeah well i think for me what made this season work i mean krasinski is great in the role as jack and we have the team of the cia i think it's largely to do with uh, james cosmo who has he's just that he plays this the this russian guy that has amazing amount of presence but his backstory that they the way they work that into the the thread of the whole arc every time he's on screen i just his voice is amazing but his acting presence i was just like dude did you recognize him at first without his beard no 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 who are you i, I, I was ch- like i was like oh I was you. I was like, of, yeah, that's why that's I like you. I, I was <laughs> like, you, you look, your voice is mildly familiar, and you look at, and I looked it up, and I'm like, dude, you're Scottish, or you play a lot of Scottish people at least. <laughs> Put the band back on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. it was weird, but it was. Yeah, you're right. He was great. I mean, he did. He re- and I loved the interweaving of his story throughout the entire season. How it just it it really built out what was going on, and I also like that we don't know where he stands. I mean, we think we know where he stands. Yeah, you know, on certain things, but, but sometimes it does, actions it, are it like throws. Yeah, it throws some yeah. things in the loop there. You're like, oh, well, maybe not, and then yeah. later, I'm like, oh, well, maybe he is, which was fun. Yeah, he kept yeah. you guessing. Yeah, yeah. The end. The end of the um. The season, which I actually found out afterwards, I was after I had seen it, um, was specifically a nod to a previous, um, like Tom Clancy novel that has been adapted 
into oh yeah i don't i don't think that's a that's a, a the, spoiler. Not spoiler they've, they've oh, been okay. doing interviews all about it yeah it's oh okay it, yeah okay so hunt for red october mm-hmm. this has a very i mean it is it, it's an homage to it it's really sure. they they yeah. but they do it differently which is great because then it, it keeps it fresh as well yeah uh, yeah which so is you're not the, watching the movie over again but yeah so krasinski in this interview i watched he said that um all the all of the Jack Ryan, the novels and the movies that they've had before, this TV series will nod to them, but they're totally going to do their own thing because mm-hmm. um, they want to do their own thing. So when I br- bring it fresh, they want to keep it authentic, but also have you know their own voice with it. And I think they've managed to do that. I just really hope they manage to stay the course now because season four is already greenlit. That's because they found something. They found a formula that works. Uh, the, the best bits of one they've taken out the bits that don't work in two and now three is like oh this is this is gold really really well done action did, score all of that was so good mm. well did you hear though that season four is uh krasinski's last it might be the last um do you think they'll close it well there there has been rumors and brief talk of maybe bringing michael pena in not as jack <laughs> ryan but, but as, as another a, as another character that is already existing within the Tom Clancy um Jack Ryan universe and so it would be a for those they're just going to kill him off then I don't know I don't think so mm. I think maybe they just he just moves on within the CIA and it's just kind of like now we're going to focus over here my my yeah. camera went all wonky yeah we go you know <laughs> we're going to focus over here and for people I think that read the source material it's going to feel very natural because this character exists in that world already and is prominent. Mm. Yeah. So it's not like some minor thing that they just brought forward just to be like, eh. so I don't know though. From when I, what I was reading right now, none of that is actually confirmed or has been solidified yet. It's just talks. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I forgot what I was going to say about it. Never mind then. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, but it, it a, was, it, a thoroughly enjoyable. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was it was fairly easy to binge too. Mm. Like that, I, I was I was engaged because of not only just all the intrigue that was there, but the action and um, yeah, the characters. I think. I mean, in really... comparison, you do too. I found two really tough to binge. Uh, you know, we had to... screen screeners for it, and I was just like, "Do I have to?" That's never a good sign. Yeah, I wasn't feeling the excitement mm. for two. That was yeah. I agree. So, yeah. yeah. So if you if you watch season one and you're like, yes, and you watch season two and you're like, mm, go back to season three. Don't yeah. don't let season two, yeah, soil that. But, yeah, I agree. Cool. Well, uh, should we talk about our, our next one? <laughs> I'm really excited to talk about this one. <laughs> my, my wife, when I was doing my review, because um, I started my intro twice, kept calling it Borderlands and she literally jumped in and said, you're calling it Borderlands. It's Alice in Borderlands. I was like, yeah, all right, fine. (laughs) Uh, Alice in Borderlands season two, I would say that it's a complete story, but with the possibility as with the manga of extra stories. But we get eight episodes, mostly an hour long. That last episode is an hour and 20 and man, did I have a good time with it. Chris? <laughs> Ruben and I were, were chatting back and forth online, and I'm like, he's like, wait, where are you at? I'm like, well, I'm on this episode. And he goes, well, tell me when you get to episode seven. <laughs> like, after I watch, I'm like, holy crap, what the? Uh, oh. I, oh, man, the I shouted at the screen. <laughs> dude, dude. Well, and you know, I was as I was watching the first couple episodes, the the pacing and the the approach to the show was different mm. than what I remember from season one. And that wasn't a bad thing. It was just, it was, I think, a little different. But it needed to be because they have knocked out so many of the other cards in this yeah. game that we only have just the face cards, really. And not all of the face cards, I don't think. Or maybe all mm. of the face. It doesn't really matter. It's... But... I mean, that opening sequence really sets the tone for... It's kind of relentless the, as well. It's just 
ongoing and you're like holy crap <laughs> well and to set up an antagonist at the very beginning even though there's already an antagonist which is the game yes you yeah. know in this the um to set up an additional antagonist at the very beginning make it just you're un unrelentless i mean or yeah. relentless what's what's the right word well i called him the terminator dude <laughs> i think that's actually a very good description because of a certain characteristic also <laughs> yeah. but um but to have that threat loom through most of the season mm. was was great because you never it's, knew when it was going to pop up or where it would show up and but that's how clever it is with the, the the driving force of the story why do we have those characters again go into the games well now we have a reason it was like forcing them into participating in these games we knew they were going to be harder because they're the card games as we've seen with the blimps and the giant 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 cards <laughs> you're yes. like who makes this stuff well we kind of find out at the end but uh, all of the stuff all the questions i think people had why do they have plot protection why is they they not quite dying it kind of makes sense when you think about it at the end i guess we can talk about spoilers in a moment and we'll let we'll let we'll do a spoiler say this is the spoiler bit big spoiler yeah yeah, yeah. uh but th there were new characters introduced as well that i absolutely loved episode two and three there's a dude and i think that's a spoiler as well but there's a dude <laughs> that's buff uh and i was jealous of his buffness but i loved his character i thought he's really interesting oh he has I, I don't think i yeah i don't think him i don't think he is the like that's a spoiler to just talk that he's that he's there yeah. Oh no, no, just that oh how he is, I think, is, is a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> well, we they um <laughs> what type of clothing he's wearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There there was a lot of that too. Yeah. Was, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um but no, well that game though was amazing from a character development standpoint. Yeah. And how it sets up the rest of the trajectory. You exactly. know, especially for Arasu, who's, I mean, that, yeah, it was. Well, he had to learn some stuff about death. He had to learn to push forward um, at the cost of everything, but also learn that everybody else in the game is also facing the same things at them. And it's not necessarily bad guys. They're just people. And that was, it was harsh. You know, it's like, oh. Why do I get to live over them? Okay, so what's my reason for living? It's got to be better than what I'm, what his character was going through at that time. He he needed something to fight for, and I, I felt like that was he didn't exactly get it, but he it was like the learning point of. Yeah, he started to get it right. It started mm. to click there for him, and then he 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 honed that that understanding through a lot more of the of the show. One of my favorite characters return. <laughs> That I wasn't expecting to return, uh, and I don't. I guess I can say it. I don't know if it's a, it's a spoiler. A goonie. Um, <laughs> he 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 should have died, and he, that's a big part of his arc. He's just like, I, why didn't I die? I, I, and seeing him team up with another new character, I thought her story was really interesting. Not necessarily a nice character, but again, all the character growth th through each of our characters, new ones, uh, you know, old ones. There's a lot of growth, and you didn't think they would have so much growth time, but because they don't need to work on what they've established already in season one, yeah. they can just do that. They just go for it, which I, I loved because you care so much more when the shit hits the fan and stuff happens to them because you're like, no, not them. I like them. And then you're like, no, not them. I like <laughs> Dude, well, and they they kept interweaving more and more depth to the characters and understanding to them, which, mm. you know, like, like so, we, yeah, yeah, oh, golly, Dude. that was, yeah, well, in, in, um, Chish Chishia, I think, it, I, I'm yeah, probably, yeah, our, <clears throat> um, forensic scientist? No, that's no, Anya. No, he he was like an oncologist or just a he was just a, a doctor. Oh, he was yeah. a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't Dude, see that coming. I I well, no, I didn't see that coming first off, but he, just him um oh, was that a spoiler? I don't know. Should we do spoilers then? 
Okay, let's talk spoilers. We're going to put a spoiler warning actually earlier. Um, yeah. <laughs> so because we're doing spoilers already. Because, because you just re- you, that would be unfair. Yeah. Um, but th- he became one of my favorite characters in this season. I, I mean, know. I love his his um his nonchalantness. His just his laid back. He's pretty meta, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I loved how observant. He was. But they actually spent a lot of time with his character. Like, we had a full episode with him that was dedicated... Well, a full game with him that was dedicated to him, the the, the scales. Oh, we two. Do, yeah, there were two. Oh, the prison the, as well. Both excellent, excellent games. And, yeah, so they established him surviving the one game, and then he goes into another one. You're like, don't tell me now he's going to die after we've gone through all of that. He becomes a focus, which... Like what you were saying, I didn't expect him to be the focus because he was almost a bad guy. We didn't quite yeah. know where he stood. He helped, but it was always for himself. Yeah. And even Arisu says, you've changed. And he goes, have I? Of course, then he gets shot in the stomach. So, yeah. Do- <laughs> that episode seven was absolutely brutal. It was so brutal. It, it went from... Bang, 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 bang. Uh, I mean, just the fight, and then we still had more at the end. But also, the fight was excellent. It was so well choreographed. Um, every time I thought that we were going to hit the Terminator, he somehow dodges. Like, how well trained that guy is. And you're like, wait, who are you? But then you see the background story of him, and you're like, oh, mm-hmm. this guy's like, his life is this. Yeah, This is what he's been doing since he was young. Didn't it frustrate you though? Like, uh, uh, what's her name? I can't remember her name. With the with the bow and arrow, don't shoot for his chest. Shoot for his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like she, she managed to get him. This is kill shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but oh, I did. But... I did find it funny that like they have the longest death scenes ever. They just you thought they were dead, and that mm. seven was brutal enough. But then yeah, they're like. She's crawling like to go to Aguni, and you have the other the, the uh, forensic scientist Anna, Anu, Anna, and um, no Anna. Oh yeah, Anna. Yeah, 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 Anna. Um, and it, it was only because of her that we found out much about the world that not being right, and that tells the audience, you know, like the the plants overgrowth, mm. the the compass going crazy, uh, mm. the the hemispheres all stuck to like together as one planetary system uh that was weird yeah <laughs> but yeah so they're, they're all like dying on death's door i expected them to die but then they were like <laughs> and start doing like the the the, the, the death speeches <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was like come on but then well i'll, I'll let you speak for a bit <laughs> When we get to the end of episode seven mm. and then into episode eight in the game, the final <laughs> queen of hearts, <laughs> dude, my brain fell out of my head for a little bit there. <laughs> well, for first of all, I was like, piss off, croquet. How is this the final game? <laughs> well, and I love, <laughs> but that's I the love queen. The, yeah, it, exactly. Yeah. The, yeah. The, 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 they tied in so much of Alice in, um, yeah. you know, through the looking glass and Alice in Wonderland in, within there that even though, you know, it's it's just regular croquet. I mean, there's nothing yeah. weird about yeah, it. Not. You know, this, but <clears throat> but the fact of her, it's just you just have to finish the game and yeah. then the manipulation starts. She was oh. so good at that. And he's asking, like, just tell yeah. us what's going on. She, once I start. There's no stopping. And you're like, dude, don't do it. Don't do it. You can see. And you have a soggy s- sitting there. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Arisu, for once in your life, listen. <laughs> the Well, and, and so when she first, the first one where, she, you know, like everything is plausible because we've seen just craziness within this world. So it's like, okay, I can buy this, you know, where we have them in suspended animation and it really is just a game because humankind has evolved <laughs> so much that they're bored. But you they know? put and, time and effort <laughs> into that as well. The the graphics, the story, the, like, like it was all believable, her voice, and it's also all the fan th- theories as well. So you're just like, oh, okay, they're addressing that. Maybe that was always the part. Carry on, Chris. And then she goes, <laughs> or, 
<laughs> and you're like, what? Right the now. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and then we go, then we go full moon night. Yeah. And I'm like, D is it what? what? But yeah, because I thought, well, that's also plausible. Please don't be that. I hate that. I hate that too. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I don't want that. But right. I like. I'm so like, like all of it was like, I'm buying this. Oh, now I buy this. Yeah, and no, this exactly. feels real too. Like, yeah, none of it felt like. Oh well, this isn't true. This, mm. you know what I mean? It's they. Went, but then they, some of it was true because when she's cutting her her hand, you're like. Is she actually dying now? What's actually happening wherever they are if this is not reality? And you're just so tense the whole time. Dude, it was. Well, and I was just like, like a nail biting. And the patience. Can we just talk about the oh. patience of the, the storytelling in this? For them to sit there on Arasu as he's laying just in his fetal position, kind of giving up on life. <laughs> And it changes. I had had enough. Of the I was like, "You put me through enough. <clears throat> Give me the answers, <laughs> dude." That was. I mean, it was just. And you and Usagi is like barely hanging on, you know, <sighs> and and bleeding out there, and the the story just says, "No, we're going to make you wait, and we're going to tell it at our pace," and that was frustrating. It was nail biting, and it was like ah. Mm. But it was awesome as well, because think about this. And then even as we go that, after we get to the conclusion of the game, and then we go into after the game, mm. I, and I had said this in my review, that I really appreciated the amount of time that they then took to let us sit with this, to really mm. just draw it out. Because, you know, a lot of the time we get an answer and then, okay, we're done. Moving okay, on. Wrong. You might get a little <laughs> little bit of, of after so that we can feel good about what just happened or, you know, get some closure or something like this. This went on, though. I mean, they were like, no, we're going to let you just accept this and let it envelop you again so mm -hmm. that you can come and and hopefully accept what you see, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, no, I, 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 I appreciated. I mean, they went, here's an asteroid and they're all dead. And you're like, what the crap? And then everybody had heart attacks and those that survived had actually died and been brought back. So it's a cardiac, cardiac arrest. Um, according to the manga, they'd been dead for a minute. Each of them that had died, that is those that had been brought back. And so we see everybody's memories. or well, they don't have memories of that, but everybody seems to know each other, but they don't know why they know each other, mm -hmm. which I love. So there's like all these kind of, oh, did it happen? But that doesn't make sense because they all these other people are dead what happened to those like w like if that was real but of course we get to the joke the joker card which is revealed on the table was it blows away and it's like you could you could just go oh well that's just a a little like nod to the deck of cards and you could just go oh that's it then however <laughs> in the the manga and <clears throat> what the fans say is that the joker is actually a deity a, a, a governed off like a greek god like a joker deity and he creates whenever there is a big a, a world event something explodes he's able then to go in create a different alternate reality that is similar to ours give you these games and then you have that choices and i'm guessing you could do so many variations of this where you have the joker a, a deity ability this joker minor god and forces people for his enjoyment not for anybody else's but if you do choose to leave, you do get to live your life again with a sort of awareness and you are sort of changed because they, they have yep. changed. Because if you look at the difference of Arisu um, and Usagi, you know, they even the fact that they're talking to each other and seem seems like they may have a future together is a massive change in who they were before the asteroid hit. Yes. How many times do we need to see... Um Arasu's friends die though. Come on, <laughs> it's so harsh. That car, that car, dude. I, I gasped out loud. I was j uh, what? Because <laughs> we we weren't shown that right at, in, in season no. one. No, no, so, because they're in the game with him, right? And that's yeah. what makes episode three just so terrible. Yeah, and, and awesome all at the same time. Yes, I was just like, oh uh, yeah, I didn't want to see one. that again. Yeah. yeah. 
It was just no. harsh. Harsh. <sighs> what Dude, is the I, worst uh, car car wreck in a film if you've ever seen with a person? Because that just reminds me of Meet Joe Black. Do you remember that? No, I don't remember oh, that. There's a there's a meet cute of a person that Brad Pitt's character likes, and they both look at each other, but they're not looking at each other. And he's and it's so beautiful, the romantic music, and he walks across the street. He gets hit by one car, flips in the air, and gets hit by another car, and flips in the air, and he goes, oh. and it's just it's horrific. <laughs> oh, I think I think back to that scene in Crash, which oh, is yeah. just a disturbing yeah. movie. But when I don't know who it is, <laughs> is it Holly Hunter? Or something, she's coming out of the car. It's just, it's gross. Is that that porn disgusting. movie? Ish, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It's not a, it's not one I would recommend. It's no. just, I remember, like when I think car crash, that's like one of the things that I think of. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, so is, do, do you buy that theory on the, the, the deity? Yeah, I do, actually. I hadn't thought about it as a deity. I thought about it as just, they're still in the game. Like this is... The Joker is the final game, and right. what has happened is the they've come out of their fog, their you know, into their reality. Except it's not really reality yet, mm. you know. And so there's one more game to be played. So, which like I could see it oh, then so going you think, on. So you think they could <laughs> still be in the game, and this is all fake? The, that's what I thought before I heard your your interpretation <laughs> okay so now i don't really know that's quite a good but, one like hey just joking it's not all done yet <laughs> yeah yeah because you don't think about the joker as a card really typically no. like normally you yeah. set that aside mm. you know um but either way i mean the show wraps up very satisfyingly yeah. so if this was the end of it i'm totally good like Absolutely. i don't feel like yeah. Like, dude, you left stuff hanging or anything else. But if they also wanted to continue on a little bit, or even mm. like you said, like go in a completely different direction now yeah. with different games, different or different, you know, yeah. environment imagine, or anything imagine else. Imagine a Spanish <clears throat> version or a German version, you know, the, the Joker deity storyline bringing in different characters with uh, an earthquake or, you know, something like that. I, th I think you'd have to do something really different, though, just because it when works, I, yeah. I think about... Uh, the money heist, uh, joint uh, economic yeah, that doesn't area or yeah, whatever. Yeah, so I wouldn't want is. this. I wouldn't want them to recreate the story. It'd mm -hmm. have to be their own no. story. But games still works as a thing to contain it. Yeah, and the simplicity of the games, I think, is what really makes this work well. Especially season two. Yeah, dude, they're simple games with then horrifying consequences. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, tag, so that for example the mind games that went into that too yeah i love the filming of that one as well actually i thought it was really well done top down the, the rig the, what, yeah it's, yeah it's awesome yeah yeah hmm. okay i think we've we've uh Exhausted. spoken at length <laughs> about that um the other thing i watched this week uh which we're not finished yet but we there's 10 episodes uh, mm. They're hour long each. It's on Paramount Plus, and we just started on Sunday. We're now we've watched, um, yeah, we've watched the first six. So we just started on Sunday. So it shows you how much we're invested. But let the right one in, because I remember we were talked about like, is it can it be as good as the films? Like uh -huh. what they've done, they've taken the the core story of Let the Right One In, but then they've given us so much more story that's not in the movie at all. Okay. Um, so they've like given oh, there's like new story, new characters. <laughs> um, so think of think of it as an adaptation that's different to the movies. Okay. Uh, and we loved it. it. It's really, it's really tense. But you like the characters. You don't think of them as the good guys really, because what they have to do in order mm -hmm. to for them for for like the the vampire to survive is horrible. Yeah. You know, it's the same consequences, but at the same time, you understand. Uh, yeah, I think it's fairly good. I don't know if you'll like it, Chris, because you didn't like The Witcher, so. Uh. <laughs> well, and I, I think we're the the biggest thing, and I'm probably just going to have to let myself have, have a good bit of distance, mm. is because I really, really enjoy um, Let the Right One In. Which version? But I'm not... The, well, the 
Because oh, there's an American that's version the... that's actually pretty good, but the original see, one is fan. much better. See, I'm not a fan of the American version. I know it's not terrible, and the, the actors, I mean, they've got what, Chloe Grace, Chloe Grace, Grace Moretz. Moretz, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, see, I'm just not a fan, and I think that, that always comes back to mm-hmm. stop doing an American remake. You had a <laughs> yeah. you had a you non had English amazing, version yeah. that was phenomenal. It Leave is, it alone. Great. Yeah, you, you know, and, and they do that just for dumb American audiences. And if I just mm-hmm. pissed off half the country, well, whatever. I would say give this one a chance because I, I was okay. surprised. It's it's got an air of quality about it, which okay. I think, um, yeah, okay. I, I'll I still give it some time because I just watched um, Let the Right oh, One you? In oh, in, okay. in October. Yeah, right. So I want to yeah. It's it's too fresh for me, but okay, cool. Uh, shall we move on to our special parts? Yeah, that sounded <laughs> weird and dirty. Um, <laughs> even worse with the visual. <laughs> Luckily, on the audio, nobody can see what's going on. Um, uh, let, let's let's each talk about our uh, our Christmas movie that we want to <laughs> just talk about, and then we'll dive into the the real special. How about that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so me for my movie, um, it's a relatively newer one. Mm. Uh, I was looking forward to it when it when it was announced because I and especially because I couldn't find it in the U.S. It's a UK <laughs> production, and right. it was so stinking hard to find. It. And then it, when it came out in the U.S., it was like very, very, very limited. Like I think one theater, uh, like thirty miles away from me, was playing mm. it one day. It, it was ridiculous. And so I didn't get to see it until it came to um, like on demand type thing. Right. And okay. I, I rented it. And so it's good for 48 hours. And I think if I remember correctly, I watched it nine times in 48 hours. What? Yeah. Are yeah. you okay? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I listened to the soundtrack year, uh, all year long uh, yeah. because it makes me happy. Um, it is. So it is. It's a musical. And it is Christmas, and it is romance, and it is zombies, and it is Anna and the Apocalypse. Wow. And have you seen this yet? I don't like it, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. That That's totally good. Um, for me- Which I find it's, hilarious. <laughs> it's just, it's so happy for me. I mean, I love- like there's not happy, happy, like, cause there is dourness to it. And there's, okay, I mean, well, you know, people wait, before you carry on, I've only yeah. watched 15 minutes of it. I switched it off at the 15 minute mark. So maybe I'll need to go back and give it time. Cause maybe it's, I'll love it, but maybe it takes time to get into it. Uh, maybe the, the teenage angst in it is actually worked well because of the songs. Mm. and the the songs are like spot on because like this is american a, right no it's no it's british oh, it's british okay well then oh yeah yeah one. okay yeah. cool it um like one of the songs is um hollywood ending and they talk about how i mean it's, it's so on the nose and it's so self-aware and yet it totally works about just how nobody tells you um, that there's no Hollywood ending. You know, things don't work out like in the books, the movies, the songs. <laughs> and so it's just, it's it's really good. Um, th- 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 the songs, I think, are phenomenal. That's really where this this shines. Um, right. There's there's funny bits within there. There's the stuff that like happens in the background as characters are moving along, um, especially because we go a decent chunk of the movie before we really see any zombies. And then when we do, the characters are not necessarily aware of them at that moment. And <laughs> so it's, it's kind of that, that, um, that obliviousness as a character is singing this, this really happy song and dance number. Um, <laughs> and they're moving <laughs> along and there's chaos and carnage happening in the background. And, you know, just people running and screaming, and, ah, you know, and getting eaten and stuff like that. Um, it, it, it's definitely emotional. I mean, um, yeah. There's, there's love, there's unrequited love, there's sacrifice, there's, you know, friendship, there's... It's, do you generally like musicals? Are you into the musical? I do enjoy, mu- yeah, it, it's actually very funny. We were talking about this with my, um, with my family and my daughter-in-law, because I'm, I'm really a conundrum. Like, if you were to look <laughs> at, like, like, I love action movies, 
And I love, you know, I love all kinds of movies, really. But like, if you were to look at my Spotify playlist, mm. you would not know what to do with me because I have um, like hardcore metal on there. <laughs> and um, then like, I have a playlist dedicated to almost all Kelly Clarkson, Pink and Demi Lovato. Um, <laughs> so it's just like this what? girl pop. And then... And then I have soundtracks. <laughs> I mean, I'm all over the place. And then I have hair metal. Like, you know. Uh, I don't even know what that is. That's what? like Motley Crue and Poison and Guns and Roses. Is it actually called hair metal? And, uh, well, I would call it now butt rock. Uh, but. <laughs> okay. It, you know, whatever. I mean, because it was from the, it was from like the, the uh, late eighties into the mid nineties there. You know, it just, it. I'm, it's very eclectic, but you wouldn't know what to do with me. And Spotify doesn't know what to do with me because I love a lot of punk also and pop punk. And it, just, it doesn't really matter. The mm. The point is, yes, I do really enjoy musicals for the most part. Okay. Um, so I this one. I guess that about you. This one ticks so many boxes mm. because it's comedy, it's action, it's uh, <clears throat> romance, and then it's musical and zombies. I mean, would, come on. This go, so is this in your top three musicals then? Oh, um, that's a good question. I don't know about that. I would have to, I mean. Because if you watch but, it but, 10 times like in a row. The, I mean, it's, it's up probably there. up there, but like, like Les Miserables. Mm. That would probably be love. my number one musical. Greatest Showman. Though, like, mm. I just, I literally just watched this the other day uh, oh, okay. because I, I, and I listen to the soundtrack all the time. See, I can't um, watch The Greatest Showman because I know the real story. So I, I'm like, mm. no, see, yeah, I don't, I, I don't care. I just. No, don't, don't worry <laughs> about it. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's yeah good. <laughs> exactly. See, there you go. So it's, uh, I don't know where I would rank it. I would have to sit down and like list a lot of the, the musicals just to figure out where it is. I mean, is it something that I absolutely enjoy? Hands down. Totally. Hmm. So, interesting yeah. okay little shop of horrors dude because <laughs> we were just talking about that yesterday one of oh like my I, God. i'm not a huge musical fan but that one love it it's so good the suddenly seymour is like one of my favorite songs it's so good the, her, the the melody within there and the harmonies that they bring and then her voice well she she speaks in a very squeaky voice hmm. and but her singing is like whoa just, yeah. But also the cast of their of their movie is incredible. The yeah. Every time I yeah. start, like that's definitely one of those. Oh, it's you. <laughs> it's so, so good. good. Yeah, I I remember I was in what was that like eighty five, eighty six, something yeah. like that. So yeah, going into junior highish, um, there maybe maybe still elementary school, but um, yeah, nice. was, I saw that in the theater. It was I loved it, loved it. Okay, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to make a concerted effort. I'm... My camera just switched on off. Okay, I'm going to make a concerted <laughs> effort to watch that if you watch the one I'm going to talk about. Like, I'm going to watch Anna and the Apocalypse. Okay. Three. Okay. Okay. Okay, so my Christmas movie, unless you have more to say about Anna and the Apocalypse. I don't. Nope. You're, you you're sure? good to go to talk about yours. Are, yeah. Are you sure you're sure? I'm sure, sure. As my friends used to say, are you sure? Are you sure? Because my surname is sure. And they used to tease me. <laughs> also, if you if you come from a Christian household, don't build your house on the sandy lane or, or near the, the shores. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> mine is in the depths of the Koravanturi Mountains, 486 meters deep, lies the closest ever guarded secret of Christmas. The time has come to dig it up. The Christmas everyone, uh, this Christmas everyone believe, will believe in Santa Claus. I have no idea what you're talking about. Nice. Uh, this is a Finnish film. Ooh. Yep. Intrigued uh, already. And it's not. It's not a normal Santa. It's it's more akin to a horror. Okay. This is called Rare Exports: A Christmas Tale. I've heard of this. Dude, you got to watch this film. It's so good. It's it's taking the classic story of where we get some of our fables. Like if you're, you're naughty, you get a lump of coal in your, in your stocking, right? It's taking that, but bringing that to life. And you get a few 
of Santa's little helpers, which are creepy as heck. Not quite on the scale of what we're going to talk about in our Patreon video, which is crime biz. <laughs> Uh, but this one, there, there is a, there's a mixture of, because kids are at the, well, a couple of kids are at the forefront of the survival adventure that you go on. But you have these eclectic group. You have this one kid who's just excellent. Uh, you want him to survive. Uh, Oni Tomali is Petri Kotoi. Like I'm never, I'm going to decimate all the names because obviously they're they're not. Anyway, there's a number of elves that aren't friendly elves as well. <laughs> Uh, it's so it, it takes the Christmas story that you know, and then it <laughs> it just flips it on its head. So it's it's an unearthed ar- archaeological dig. Kid starts disappearing, and um, a leading boy and his father try to capture Santa with the help of others because they think that it's the Santa. And it's it's so good, man. I just can't stop thinking about it. When you watch it, you're like, yeah, but what does that mean about the the law? of santa how does that how does that work now uh, when you look back at the original law of santa anyway it starts you start going whoa there <laughs> this is way darker than i <laughs> well and even just think that that some stranger sneaks into your house while you are sleeping <laughs> some dude dressed in a suit originally which was green or more um which was more like combat colors like to <laughs> like, like they would blend in really well Eating your stuff, giving your kids presents, <laughs> like mm, that's a shotgun offense, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, is this is this um, is it violent, or is yes. it more just no, no, free- it's oh, violent. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. It's, uh, what do they class it as? Let me just see. It's a. Um, it's classed as a Christmas movie. Okay. But oh, it has Santa. S- so yeah, it's adventure, fantasy, horror. Cool. That that's what it is. Snowmobiles, ice, Finnish, young kids, yeah. guys like wanting to trap Santa. It's that sort of thing. They're gonna catch Santa, lure him in because he's not normal. He's wrong. I love it. Yeah, it's that's really so good. good. It's really nice. Good. Okay, I, cool. I do need to check that out. I think I have it on my. I think it. At one point, it was available on Prime here in the U.S., mm. and so I think I have it on one of my lists. So okay, okay, well, uh, maybe maybe it'll still be there. Maybe yeah, I'll have to look it up. But yes, okay. Should we talk about another horror film, <laughs> dude? Okay, so <laughs> let's let's set the stage here. When we were discussing what we wanted to do for our Christmas special, um, I had the genius idea. Yeah. Um, of <laughs> this is yeah, on you. Chris. I say that very sarcastically because I'm not saying this was a smart move at all. Um, I had I've never seen this. This was my first time seeing this. Was this your first time seeing it? I don't know that I've seen it now. My brain is already trying to delete files. Delete it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, um, it is available in several forms on YouTube. Yeah. Um, but we watched from 1978 the mm-hmm. classic that was shown. Only once, and then um, the <laughs> George Lucas threatened to find all of the <laughs> copies and destroy them. I understand. But we watched, oh, totally, a S- Star Wars holiday special. Okay, so let me ask you this before we dive into it. If you could use one word to describe what you watched, what would that be? Let me, I'm going to think of a descriptive word. broken I, th- I, th- I think that is the best way to describe it okay it's my broken. word is atrocious yeah atrocious is a good word but the more i i, I used to love chewy's sound but after this Dude. whatever this was i hate it i i i hate it we have so that we have that the opening sequence with han and chewy and then we have almost 12 minutes, 12 minutes of grunting. There's and, no dialogue. There's not even subtitles. There's nothing of Chewie's wife, dad, and son moving around in this crappily looking house. The setting is 
the costumes oh, oh. aren't even good for the the, the new Chewbacca's. They're like yeah. weird and puppet. And the grandfather or his dad is his dad. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't even speak right. He just kind of grunts and shouts yeah. in horrible noises. And the little yeah. kid is like, it's not even. It's it's it's, it's, it's terrible. Pengu. You do you know Pengu? Yeah. yeah. It's it's just. If there's a penguin that speaks in noises here in the UK, very popular. And he goes, oh, at least you get an understanding of what's going on. And this is just utter nonsense. Dude, it was, it uh, like, it's hard to believe, or it's not hard to believe why, why it was only showed once. When, when we first see Mark Hamill, the amount of makeup that they have caked on that I man's face. I wasn't even sure it was them. They said it was them, but sometimes I looked at them and was like, is that really you? Dude, that was... Um, okay, so we, Diane Carroll, um, the singer, she has a segment in there. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay, so this is a family holiday show. Yeah. I don't know if you were listening to the dialogue and stuff take not even don't even look at her dress yet the words that she is using and there it was so risque <laughs> and uh, i looked over at my wife and i'm like did they just say that and she's like yeah they did just say that yeah yeah oh it's like skirting the censors and being very inappropriate all at the same time it was just it was like wow I think those were actually the best moments, to be honest. The singing was probably the best moments. I was trying to find things. I was like, okay, what's good? What is good about this? And I, I thought, okay, she sings. She, she's got talent. She can actually sing. There was the yeah, weird, yeah, yeah. There was the weird electric um, band. Oh, Dude, Jefferson Starship, except yeah. come on. They needed, <laughs> they needed some auto-tune. Because that was just, it, I was like, Ugh, and it went and on then for we a had long time. Like a half an hour segment of animation, which is, I think I laughed so much at the but designs. That was, that was the best part, though, for me. But Chewy, okay, dude, I wrote down that Chewy looks like um, a chipmunk um, or an otter mixed with Cthulhu. Like if you see the, the hairs dude, at the it, bottom. It, it, it's so weird like what were they actually high when they were uh, designing those because that's all even what they were doing to r2 to make him move they kind of distorted the screen and he just went wrong yeah. i'm like what is this animation like if you compare it to the anim the animations we had that came out that around time. then yeah. there were some amazing stuff you and you have star wars money you have no right to be in this band it, what, fun fact this is the first time we see boba fett really yes huh th th so this is and and that actually comes about because george lucas while he was barely involved in this at all he more so had a, um like some con consulting meetings at the very beginning he did not sign off on this final project he hated it but right. but he had said you should include boba fett and they they kept that part and um and then also so, this so Luke, is luke skywalker he has no force then in the animation because he couldn't tell that boba fett was like the guy that was gonna basically have him for breakfast he had no yeah. force sensitive at all he was like yeah. he's a friend i think he could be friend and r2 and c3po are like sometimes a friend is not but exactly what you think it is <laughs> yeah it's uh -uh. it's it's out of order because it's he's so flying wrong. an X-wing, so or a <laughs> Y-wing. So, uh, yeah, it's they, just, there was he, no he, continuity into the no. the world, the sets, the people, what was going on. Okay, um, yeah, dude, it was just, well, and there's so much time that's wasted in this where characters are just wandering around the screen. Why do they spend like, so much time doing nothing? I mean, minutes like no dialogue, no nothing. It's like yeah. they don't know what to do, and but they have time to fill. And the cooking so show was one of the worst things I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Worst. Worst. Well, and such a time. waste of talent with Harvey Corman. I mean, the <sighs> this is like one of those projects that someone ropes you into. They give you a decent paycheck 
and they say, please, can you do this as a, a special, you know, it'll be fine. It won't be that bad. And then they give you minimal dialogue in like script. Like you can just ad lib a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And then you get to set and they say, okay, you're rolling, just do stuff. And that's literally what they had to do. And there was oh, nothing gosh. for them to do. No, there was nothing for them to do. Yeah. <laughs> the story, I don't even know what the story was really. I mean, it's so Chewie's trying to get home and but I, ugh. the, it, dude, when B. Arthur is singing, which first off, that was just, that was almost too much for me. Um, but was that Greedo that she was dancing with or was that just another of his species? Because at this I mean, point, he should be dead. Well, I suppose found out there is, um, sorry, there's bugs flying about no. <laughs> <laughs> again. It, well, as we found out, there's no timeline consistency, so it could well be Greedo. True. Yeah, that's it. Was just oh goodness sake. Oh, right, right. the best bit was hearing James Olive Jones's voice. As that. Okay, something that that um that I noticed though, and I'm gonna have to actually pay attention to it in the Star Wars movies now, mm. but because I wasn't looking when he first started speaking. If you listen to the, it's happening over him speaking. Oh. That's interesting. You can't do that like at the same time. Like, that doesn't work. The, no, it doesn't work Is the machine work separate from you? <laughs> I, I guess, but wouldn't it? Uh, but how are you when exhaling you're while it's inhaling? <sighs> yeah, it I don't know. It's like Jack Black with inward singing. <laughs> Hello. Da, 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 da. In there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> exactly. maybe that's what it is. Yeah, so know. like I've been speaking to you off camera about like the, the hate comments from one review and then you <laughs> not liking something. And then I watched this. That was the third thing. Yeah. So oh, it was like the this trilogy. This just the nail in the coffin. Of yeah, just, just, yeah. Why? Are you, do you, are you actively trying to punish me for something that I did? Uh, uh, why, Chris? <laughs> I'm trying to ruin Ruben's <laughs> holiday. <laughs> Dude, oh this was. A, so you can find this on YouTube. Um, we watched the one, um, it said like best version or something like that. I don't know if we, I, mm. I'll, I'll put the link in the description, um, in case you want to watch it, it is, <laughs> it, it, whoa, I, I did like at the very beginning, it talks about how the incredible Hulk would not be shown tonight <laughs> because we're having I, I a special like, presentation. Oh man, Th that would have been yeah. way better. <laughs> well, and it went from wonder woman too. So oh, I think Wonder Woman oh had just gosh. finished and it was then going to say that we're not going to watch. Oh, I was like, dang it. Oh, That's man. unfortunate because because this is like 90 minutes of or but actually you know, I think the whole runtime is two hours. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, and apparently um, the animated part yeah. is on Disney Plus now or it or it was <laughs> for a while. Like they they took that out it, because apparently it's canon. Sh no, it can't be. And 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 this special <laughs> with with Chewie's wife, son, dad, all of that, canon. From what I was reading online, uh, so I don't. Yet yeah, whatever, I just it's terrible though. It's it's, I, it's honestly you, one of the worst things that I've ever seen. Like it footage, is one of the creativity, all of that is horrible. It's an abysmal like way shark, to spend it makes time. Sharknado look great. I, oh totally yeah dude i would i would yeah uh remember we watched brazen on netflix with Alyssa milano at the beginning <laughs> of 2022 you'd rather watch that i would watch that five times in a row <laughs> oh, no. yeah okay well that's yeah it's it's saying something yeah uh, this is utter poo yeah so that's your yeah. fault thanks chris yeah well hey it was something we've never seen and we'll never see again no um, I, I that has deleted from my history on youtube i don't want any <laughs> similar recommendations because what the hell <laughs> what will i get dude oh. the algorithm is gonna be all jacked up for me oh. actually no i watched it on my wife's account on our tv that's gonna be <laughs> awesome <laughs> she's gonna get Amazing. all kinds of weird recommendations now <laughs> wow oh man is there oh. any entertainment news you'd like to talk about while we're here um the only thing i have is that uh black adam 2 is not happening at least yeah. for a while the rock put out his notice didn't he saying uh sorry guys thanks for being with me but i spoke with james gunn and i'm not going to be come back at least anytime soon yeah yeah and that that was the headlines were a little deceiving yes they were that a lot yeah. of they were like 
Black Adam 2 gone. And it's like, no, that's not what was said. James Gunn said not this first chapter of DC. Yeah. Okay. So they're taking a moment to reboot it, whatever. And and I know, you know what? Hey, question, question the motives, question the, the decisions, fine. But <laughs> at least they're they're putting a game plan together now. And it doesn't mean, even in the words that James Gunn put out, it, it doesn't mean that Black Adam is gone. It just exactly. means that in this, right this second, the first, first phase, even though they're calling it a chapter, mm. is not going to have Black Adam again. Okay, fine. That, no big deal, right? Yeah, absolutely not. So, no. yeah. Still, you need to celebrate what you got. If you're a big fan of Black Adam, enjoy the Black Adam movie. Yeah. 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 It's like everybody, they're talking about, well, I'm not going to go watch Shazam 2. Are you kidding? I'm going to be first in line to watch Shazam 2. I, 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 I love those characters. I don't care that we probably won't get more from them. I want to celebrate what they've created in this heroic world. It doesn't need to be a part of the DC universe. We have a little bit of connection from the first film, and then we have the family doing their thing. Come on. And dude, it, it's Zachary Levi. Exactly. I, He's I, awesome. I, yeah, I'm there. <laughs> I, this could be a standalone movie. I don't care. I'm going and going to enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything you're looking forward to over this Christmas period of the, like what's coming? Um, hmm. N no, not really. I mean, there's a couple of movies coming out right after Christmas between Christmas or a couple of just content really coming out after between Christmas and New Year's and even into that first week of New Year's that I'm mm. kind of looking forward to. I mean, we've got um, that movie Megan hitting theaters, which yeah. I, I think I think some of these horror releases, the studios are actually being smart about it because there's not a lot of competition at the beginning of the year for anything. Like it true. doesn't matter the genre of movie. Very and true. if you can have a quality um, horror movie, because there's a dearth of nothing going on, people, mm. they'll go and see it. You know what I mean? And it becomes this hit for the, and it doesn't have to worry about the competition. Um, there's a season, there's a, a show coming out on Netflix called Treason. Mm. I don't know anything about it. I have you seen any videos? I can't get screeners it for it. I no, well, no, I can't get screeners for it. So, uh, okay. Yeah. I watched have the first episode of coming off oh. of Jack Ryan and I switched off. So I'll have to go oh. back to it. Okay. The pacing well, maybe was just as... flipping slow. So I was like, um, okay. okay. But I mean, there's, then again, you, yeah. I like The Witcher and you didn't say, you know, maybe we just like different things, Chris. I, that's not allowed. We're not allowed to have different opinions. That we but <laughs> <laughs> and and still be cordial to each other and be what? friends. That, that, that no. can't happen. That's not how the world works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about you? Anything that you're like? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, well, like in the middle of um, January, there yeah. is that ninety show. I'm excited to see what they're doing with that. Oh. It's the same parents. Yeah. Uh, but with like a new younger cast in the same house well at least the same set um, and I was a big fan of just putting a random episode on of that 70s show and you know mm -hmm. eating dinner so I'm interested to see what they do with that Vinland Saga on the 9th of uh, January on Netflix it's not a Netflix original but they have all the new episodes coming fans yes. will be chomping at the bit to watch these new episodes including me if you're a big fan of the the Vikings like fairly accurate anime on the on vikings i mean it's, it's still anime so <laughs> like sure, embellished yeah. characters doing ridiculous stuff but on the history side was it's pretty close to what they believe happened um but then put in the anime story so it, it's just really fun long time waiting for you know that to come and i think fairly soon we've got the uh, christian bale movie with jillian anderson the the pale blue eye mm -hmm. i think first week of january yeah, I, I think. Um, yeah. So the first week of January is fairly soon, right? Because it's Christmas now. Uh, a few days time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think w people will like White Noise. I'm interested to see what people think of that. Uh, there is a South Korean show called The Glory. I have six episodes of the eight. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, 
which I haven't gotten into yet, but I'm interested to see, the, you know, an, another drama that looks quite dark, but, mm-hmm. you know, quite good. I haven't yet started watching Kaleidoscope. Um, I haven't either yet. Because I'm worried about whether it's going to be good or crap. It feels like it could be gimmicky. But... I- well, I think I think that's probably part of the marketing that they're going for, like that it is gimmicky. Hmm. So, but but is it going to work? I think really that's the, and I'm going to have to I have to be cognizant to write down the order in which I watch it, hmm. so that like especially you and I can even compare notes because we probably will watch it in different orders. And yeah, that would be really interesting. So if we compare our notes as to what what, what number and what that was like for us, um, I think yeah. that's that's going to be really interesting. One that I think has an eclectic, I think there's a there's a core demographic of people that will watch this, but the, we had season one um, of The Rise of the Empire's Ottoman. And there's season two coming out uh, called uh, Mech, Mehmed versus Vlad. Uh, so I'm very interested in that one because of the, I've always loved the Vlad storyline, you know, mm-hmm. however, but this is more, so it's docudrama. So you have like people doing like interviews like people that are very much like big in their field and then they'll recreate sequences which is, is quite good um the only if you're into that would you like it the they did uh netflix did a pirate series like that which huh. i thought was okay it was kind of interesting okay. there was another one that just came out recently it was a uh, blood sex and royalty or blood sex and royals something like right. that and it was the same thing I wasn't into that at the beginning, so I don't know. Maybe I, I might go back to it. Um, mm. Is the is the rise of the um, the first one the Ottoman thing? Is that is it good? I mean, did you see it? Did you enjoy yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's different. Um, okay. I didn't love it, but mostly everybody that did watch it loved it. Uh, okay. So yeah, it was fairly popular. So I, I, I might give that a go. One thing I'm looking forward to massively is a short like little skits anime called the way of the house husband uh which mm. is one of the best things i've ever seen in anime it's nice. so stupid it's basically a guy that used to be like the head of the yakuza but now has become a house husband and oh, uh, funny. he's so intense but he's really good at cleaning um <laughs> it's hilarious it's so funny yeah nice right on yeah cool yeah, yeah. okay well hey Happy holidays to everybody. Uh, we hope that you're just having some great downtime with family, with friends, with uh, whatever. However you celebrate or if you do not celebrate, either way, totally great. Uh, we thank you for your time, for just all your support, for checking us out. Um, you know, whether this is your first time or your 40th time, that's awesome. We lost we appreciate time. it. Hopefully not the last time. <laughs> just come on. <laughs> it's Ruben eats his balls. That's <laughs> oh wow. Oh goodness. Okay. Well, on that note, uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, Ruben with the Ruby Tuesday. Me, Chris with movies and munchies. Uh, you could always tweet at us at best we watched. If you want to check out uh, like the show. When you're on the go and you don't want to pull up YouTube, you can check us out on podcasts. We're basically everywhere that podcasts are available. And if you do happen to go there and listen to us, if you could rate and review the show, that would be outstanding. Don't forget, too, that we have a Patreon opportunity with a couple different levels uh, of support, which give you different t- levels of access, one where you can even request some some customized stuff from us, some reviews and things like that. So mm-hmm. head over to patreon.com slash the bearded ones and see what that's all about. With that, uh, we are having a New Year's special coming up uh, on New Year's Day, which Chris is still editing part of that, and then Ruben's going to be editing part of that. Um, <laughs> but it is it, it is outstanding. It, Ruben did a, he wrote a D&D style uh, one-shot adventure and uh, a bunch of noobs playing this and <laughs> having a blast. So we hope that you enjoy that. And with that, then we will see you the, the second week, the eighth, yeah, I don't know. The, the 2023 second week of 2023. Holy crap. That's crazy. <gasps> yeah. Already. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. 
We'll see you later. Okay. Take care. Toodles.